Good evening friends. Today I'll talk about how to test a stationarity of time series data. Let's start. Well, first and foremost, I have to import the data set, which is available in uh, Excel in my case. The data series name is bond yield. I click on import. Finally, I find bond yield series, which is having 87 observation and two variables that is of date and bond yield. Well, when you talk about test of stationarity in R, first and foremost, we have to go through the some steps and these are clearly written here. First step is to install the time series package and second one is library of time series. Third one is attach the file and finally we can go for testing the stationarity. Well, so how to install time series in R? Either you can go through command or you can go through tools. So click on tools, install package and right here T series. T series represents here time series. Click on install. In my R setup, time series has been already installed. Right? That's why it is showing like this. The second phase or step is create library of time series. So library T series and enter. Then the third step attach or attach attach file which is of uh, bond yield finally this series is ready for testing the stationarity there are so many tests available for testing the stationarity out of that i'll be talking about adf test it means augmented dickey fuller test right here ADF test and the bond yield and enter well so what is command for augmented dickey fuller test first and foremost we have to create time series it means we have to install the time series package and then uh, this is the command adf.test and finally you have to write here whatever you want to test of any particular series. Well, when I talk about augmented Dickey Fuller test, its null hypothesis is the series has unit root or you can say the series is non-stationary. If you see the output generated in R, it is mentioned here that Dickey Fuller 0.95947, this is T a statistic, lag order 4, and P value is 0.99. We know the rule. Generally, we assume or we test the significance on 5% level. So P value is higher than 5%. It means that is 0.99 which is more than 0.05. Hence our null hypothesis is which is the series has unit root. It means the series is not stationary. Our hypothesis is accepted. It means the 
series of bond yield is having the presence of unit root or we can say the bond yield series is not a stationary. So again I am highlighting the adf test command in R that is adf dot test bond yield it means the series name and this is the result created from this 